Hello, it's time for another story from Quentin Blake's Amazing Animal Stories. This one's called The Impudent Little Bird. Impudent means very rude. There once was a cheeky little bird who went to a tailor and ordered a little woolen coat. He chose the cloth and picked an attractive design. Then he held his wings up while the tailor took his measurements. Can you see? He's got his tape measure to measure the bird. After that, he went to the hatter and ordered himself a smart little hat, and then to the shoemaker and ordered a fashionable pair of shoes. And the bird was so cheeky that when the coat and the hat and the shoes were ready for him to collect, he just said, oh, send me the bill, and flew off without paying. This left the tailor, the hatter and the shoemaker feeling very annoyed. The little bird <clears throat> considered himself so smart in his new things that he thought he'd go and show himself off in the palace gardens. He perched on a branch by the open window of the banqueting room where the king was dining and sang at the top of his voice, No wonder I whistle, no wonder I sing, I'm dressed in my best and I look like a king. At first the king was rather amused to hear this, but after the fifth time it began to irritate him a little. And at the 500th time, it made him very annoyed indeed. Someone silence that impudent little bird, he thundered. I ordered him to be, I ordered him to be caught and plucked and cooked and served to me at once. When the king gave orders, especially when he gave orders in an angry voice, he was immediately obeyed. Without its feathers, the bird looked so tiny on the king's plate that he said, I shall swallow you whole, just to teach you a lesson for your impertinence. And he did. The little bird was highly indignant at having been treated like this, and not being able to see his way down there in the dark, he began to kick in all directions to be let out. Now, although the bird had only tiny legs, he had very pointed little claws, and so his kicking made the king feel distinctly uncomfortable. In no time, the royal stomachache doctor arrived with a bottle of red medicine. Open your mouth, your majesty, and hold your nose. It doesn't taste very nice, but that's how you know it's going to do you good. Now he is pouring it out for the king. In fact, the medicine, medicine tasted so unpleasant that the little bird waited for the king's mouth to open for a second time, and then, to everyone's amazement, flew straight out at breakneck speed. He headed straight for a fountain where he washed himself clean and then perched on a branch to dry himself off and examine the damage. His little heart sank when he looked down at his featherless body. To think that only that morning he'd been the best dressed bird in the kingdom. There he is. He's very sorry for himself. Although the other birds all thought he was a show-off, they still felt sorry for him, and when he begged for a few feathers to cover himself with, everyone willingly gave him one. He darted over to the royal carpenter shop and rolled around in the glue for a bit, before beginning to stick feathers on himself. It didn't matter to him that the feathers were all of different sizes and different colours. In fact, when he looked at his reflection in the pool of the fountain, he was convinced that he was even smarter than he had been in his new clothes that morning. He was so pleased with himself that he couldn't resist flying back to the tree outside the banqueting room where the king was just peeling himself an orange to take the nasty taste away. Looking like an exploded rainbow, the little bird burst into song at the top of his voice. The king tried to eat me, I made him feel sick. He popped me in fast, but I popped out as quick. King rose, overturning his chair. That impudent little bird, he stormed. Catch him again, pluck him again, chop him into pieces and cook him again. But the little bird was having none of that. Instead, he flew like the wind and didn't stop until he landed on the nose of the man in the moon. And there he is, looking splendid with all his new feathers. There we go. That's the end of that story. I hope you liked it. See you next time.